back to Star News. Well, today is Valentine's Day, and that means a virtual Black Friday for local florists. We had a chance to check in with one local business that is indeed booming today. It's big business for florists. Star News spoke with one local business owner who says this year is even busier than normal. Yes, it's been very busy today. We've had a lot of people with the phones ringing off the hook. It's hard for us to keep up. Some Valentines are busier than others. Uh, I think this one's particularly busier because it fell during the middle part of the week. People tend to buy flowers more during the week than they do on the weekends. Davis says while it's hectic, he loves what he does. Well, it's very stressful. <laughs> Trying to get all the deliveries out is really a big challenge. <clears throat> but anyway, um, you know, it really makes a lot of people's day. A lot of people are expecting flowers on Valentine's Day. and It really makes people's day when they get flowers uh, received from us. And I think that um, that's probably the best thing you can do is make people smile. Simply the Best has extra help on hand to get through the rush this week, including part-timers who are working full-time and more delivery drivers on the road to ensure those special Valentine's gifts are delivered on time. Absolutely. Uh, it's hard for us to wait on everybody that comes in, on people that's calling. It's hard to catch all the calls. There's just not enough people in phone lines for the people that come in. But, you know, it's just one day a year. They even have a real-life Cupid on staff who says she loves making people happy. I just love uh, making pretty things for people and, and them enjoy the beauty of them. Over the years, I've had a lot of good customers. Cupid has been with the company for many years and through many changes of ownership. I was here when it was built. I was here before it was built. It was a two-story house, and I worked for Ms. Hedgecock then. And, uh, then she tore down the old building and built the new building. That's the same building we're in now. And for those out there who need help finding that special gift, Cupid has some great advice. Women always love roses. And uh, at Valentine's, you like to have a box of candy, too, with your flowers. I th I, that's what I'd advise them to get. Reporting for Star News, I'm Scott Coleman in Martinsville. Stay tuned, folks. We'll have a special edition of our crime report coming up right after this brief break.